Tyler Owens who writes, Hello, Collider Crew. Thanks for all you guys do. I was writing uh, about that you guys just reported on the new X-Men Apocalypse trailer, more than likely being attached to Star Wars Episode Seven. I know that you've talked about uh, you have talked about a lot of times that it doesn't matter if a trailer is attached to a movie because it'll be online a couple days before. But I think it does play a big deal because what what about all the people who aren't that plugged into the movie community like we are and are just learning about this movie when they are watching Star Wars? Thanks so much. Well, yeah. So what Tyler's basically talking about is, you know, I believe when we've said on the show that gone are the days of. You know, like when the Phantom Menace came out, what movie is the Phantom Menace trailer going to be playing with? Because that's how you saw trailers. But now, <clears throat> trailers never premiere with a movie. They're always premiere online. They're always online first, unless you are, of course, the new Star Wars trailer who's dropped on Monday Night Football. But they made an event out of that. There was a purpose for that. But, and so I say gone are the days when it really matters. But, but Tyler, I believe, here does raise a very valid point. Like, what about the people who are not plugged in? The people who don't watch Movie Talk, the people who don't read Collider.com, the people who don't read Entertainment Weekly. What about them? That is a great point. Now, I would suggest that the people who seeing these tra trailers mean the most to are watching Movie Talk, are reading Collider.com, are reading Entertainment Weekly, that sort of thing. But, but you do raise a good point. There's another segment where, look, this is why... The studios want their trailers playing in front of these big movies is to get that audience, to show it to that. Plus, not only that, but you put it online, anybody can watch it. You put it in a movie theater, in a trailer, that's called target marketing. Right. You are showing your trailer to active movie goers. That is the prime people you want to be hitting with this. And not only they're seeing your trailer, they're not seeing it on this dinky little computer screen. They're watching it on a big movie screen with a surround with like with all this beautiful sound. So you're absolutely right, Taylor. I think I do overplay the fact that the importance of what tr movie a trailer opens with, I think I do overplay that. I, I think there is a segment of that. Christian, what do you think? But to, uh, honestly, defending you on this point here is that I don't think that we've ever said on this show that, that they weren't important to the movies. I think that we, what we've said is it doesn't matter that if it's dropped in the movie theater first. Right. That right. was always the point that yeah, I always right. got from the conversation. Right. I don't think we ever downplayed how important a trailer is for, for a movie theater. Oh, going. never. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's crucial because... For the point of t what Taylor's saying here is that because when you go, my wife being someone who really learns about trailers, unless I show her something, she learns about it when we go to the movies. That's the first time she's seeing it. It's the way a lot of people go. They're casual movie viewers. So I think, but I again, I would say that it is, we know how important it has to be, and especially for something like Star Wars. I mean, that's that's like Super Bowl advertising right, right. there. Um, you're going to be, you are going to be putting, you're going to get some of the big movies. You'll get a Batman v Superman, I assume. You'll get some of these big trailers, especially movies that are coming out, whether it be in February, March, and then in, playing into May, a Civil War trailer. I mean, that's your audience, man. So yeah, it, it's it's crucial to do that because, and going back into the energy that you're going to have in the Star Wars crowd, it is, again, crucial to get that excitement as opposed to someone who's, again, watching it on the, on the little computer, as opposed to how we're all going to be right. like kids in a candy store Can on opening night of Star Wars. Can you imagine the uh -huh. three of us? Because we, uh, I, I can't remember if you're going to be there with us on the the, the uh, 17th. I'm, I'm on the 17th, but I'm at Universal. Or Universal, but like Dennis, myself, Wendy, Schnepp, uh, there's a, there, but we are like, oh, can you imagine us in that theater on the 17th? Screaming like children. Yeah, a, with a thousand with other people else. screaming like children. And that's like what children. I'm saying, so yeah. imagine, especially the host of heroes sitting there, <laughs> and then, boom, Apocalypse comes in. Boom, yeah. Civil War. He's going to lose. He's going to pop a blood vessel. It's, 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 so it's very smart to put the movies there. Well, you know, the way I look at it is like it, we all went to go see that uh, Force Awakens, like 30 seconds right. or however long yeah, it was. Yeah, the three right. of us went to go yeah. see that together, yeah. And it was so much fun to see it the way we're supposed to see it in a giant theater. I mean, that's that's the way these films, these are blockbuster event films. They're made, they're shot, they're totally designed to be seen in a massive format, to enjoy, because that's the way they're made. When you see these trailers really tiny with a, a tinny audio, I mean, that's how a lot of some of these trailers, these giant massive trailers, that's how a lot of them I've seen, because I'm like, well, I'm definitely going to see this movie, and it's going to be, this trailer is going to be playing before it, but I have to see this right, right now, now yeah. and I'm watching it on a tiny, like a little postage stamp thing, and it's stuttering, and it's like streaming, you know, buffering. You're like, no, you know, so it's worth it. What to an AOL dial? -up? I know. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like, a, you know. Schnapp, I'd like to introduce you yeah. to 2005. Well, <laughs> at, it, 
truth be said, there's a lot of people who actually are on the internet who don't watch trailers. There's people who are like, oh, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, it's like, and, and then you're talking also to older people who do go see uh, see movies who were, are completely unaware and not, you know, in. My like mom we would are. like to thank you for pointing her out, by yes. the way. Yes, <laughs> Miss Campia. <laughs> Your son is doing a great job. I just want to let you know whichever <laughs> camera you're at. Um, so, yeah, I think trailers are awesome. I, I, I agree with both sides. I think it's like, yeah, eventually it'll be online. But I think putting this emphasis on like, hey, when's this trailer? Oh, this trailer's opening before Star Wars. Now that we all know that, that adds just for us a little yeah. extra excitement, knowing that Civil War and now X-Men Apocalypse, hopefully both will be attached to the Star Wars trailer. I mean, look at Mark Ellis. Well, Mark did a real, real I'd recently. I'd rather not. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> watching Topher Grace movies. But, uh, we, no, but what he did recently, he watched the the trailer for Star Wars when it came out, and then he went, and then he knew that there was a, it was going to play before a certain movie, and he wanted to go see it on the big screen. So he mm, went yeah. again. It's like, it is, it's for the fans. It's for everybody else who hasn't seen it. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.